Hello guys, so welcome to another insightful session on my channel. I'm glad you've made time to join me once again. We are in September already and happy new month and September I call it the hot cake of application process. So from now till December you should be done. So from now to December I'll be drawing back to back or I'll be dropping <laughs> back to back schools that will help you ace and also gain admission and more importantly funding i just dropped a video you can check the link in my bio and you will be fine so with this school i'm going to drop right now guys stay tuned and let's move this school they have an automatic or automatic scholarship for those with 3.0 and above that is for masters and doctoral students and undergrad too they got you covered and they have a plethora a plethora a lot of scholarships available for you so if you are that person kindly stay tuned as i take my laptop and let's move Tada! energy 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 all right all right all right so um i'm glad you've made time to join me here so we are not going to waste time we're going to get into action so just as i said in my intro we are going to go through this school that they have i mean some offers for Applicants, I mean, what I know at the moment is that those with 3.0 and above, there's an automatic scholarship and also I'll be surfing the site with you, teaching how to navigate, to assess. They have a lot of scholarships there. Then also, um, GAs are assured. That is the most important. That is the foundation. So you are good to go and let's see how it works. Yeah. So the school's name is called um, East Tennessee State University. That is in Johnson City. And let's go straight to their site. So there you go. So this is the website and let's see how best we can, I mean, surf it. So I'm going to show you the entrance scholarship that is um, already available. And yeah, I mean, then we go to the other um, necessary stuff. So we go to cost, um, that is graduate. Let me just, you know, I'm graduate by us. The undergrad too, they have this there. So these are the G graduate assistantship that is available and tuition scholarships. So. I'll first go to scholarships and let's see um yeah so these are the scholarships available that they have they have the george carter scholarship and um, the george um carter plus scholarship the sydney gilbert scholarship they have their i mean their requirements now let me check this one for you so to be eligible for an international marriage scholarship, that is a marriage scholarship for graduate students, you must be an international student, yes, of which you are already, and you must be admitted to even a certificate program, they accept it, but go for a degree for your visa processing, yeah, unless maybe you are coming for, I mean, uh, an exchange program, that's when you can go for this. So, no separate application is required. Once you are in, you are good to go. Then these are the, uh, how do you call it? These are the ineligibilities. So when you are pursuing a second master's or bachelor's, you're not you don't qualify. When you're receiving a G, that is when you get a G or tuition scholarship. So I'll talk to you about the tuition scholarship as well, and they have what they call the G scholarship. So this is what makes the school unique. So once you get admitted, you have I mean three point zero about five thousand is assured. That is that is that is that is it. I mean straightforward. Then for doctoral students, nine thousand is available. Now this is the basic scholarship that we will start from. So this is the basic scholarship that is available in this school. So, they also have what you call, um, I mean, a lot current graduate students who can apply for these. These are just for those who are already on campus. The George Carter Scholarship, that is for um, a new student that is yeah, out of state. And also, I mean, this is for US citizens though. That is, I mean, if you are watching me in this country, that is for you. Then let's go back um, to the tuition scholarships. So these are the tuition scholarships, okay? So uh, sometimes you may not get a GA. For, that's what made this script very unique because getting GA is very, very competitive. But still, you're able to get it though. Yeah, um, there are some departments that they, you know, uh, they have a lot of people available or they employ a lot of GAs. So when you're scouting, you can ask, oh, I mean, what is the average number of GAs that you employ within a year? That will give you a fair idea of how competitive the thing is. So if you're employing a GA, you receive a tuition assistance and a monthly stipend for nine months and also, um, tuition scholars are available to newly admitted students in certain programs and have a service obligation of 120 I mean per semester yeah so that is the tuition scholarship and also the facts available I mean the facts available <laughs> what is a GA how do I apply for a GA these are all there to kind of take you through and yeah so I'm just trying to let you understand that this school you have a lot of chances if you don't get a GA tuition is available the basic scholarship is there and there are other merit scholarships so these are from the Clemmer College 
that is this are just one position for the Clemmer College. Fuji is five for the little ba I mean Bacanis, yeah. <laughs> Full time GS, that is it. So what you do, um, half time GS also the provost. These are the GS available. These are just outside GS. Graduate school have GA positions and also full GA for Center for Teaching of Excellence. So these are external GAs. Normally people get, I mean, admission, they don't get GA on the, their department. So if you don't get GA from your department, this is an opportunity for you. So now let's go to the graduate school. And this was paying for graduate school. So let's go to um, the program that they have. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. So, and if you're an undergrad, free application, FYI, you can see it. Free, free, ETSU, apply for free. Yeah. So let's go to their majors. That is graduates. Um, what do they have there? So these are the programs they have here. Let me check masters. I'll come to doctorate as well. So um, these are the programs available. You can go through them. And I want to just sample one or two programs. I mean, just I'm just doing random sampling, literally. I haven't gone through it. I'm just checking. They don't require GRE for some programs. A lot of programs. Let me say it that way. Yeah. So let me check. I think sociology. Um, do they have sociology here? I mean, recently the science are saying that I'm becoming biased for the um, sciences. So this is communication and storytelling. I mean, communication and storytelling, storytelling studies, <laughs> and MA in sociology. Then information system, data analytics. Yeah, history. That is a nice problem. Take history. So history is an admission requirement. So um, yeah, fortunately there is no GRE required. Once you're above 3.0, you get your scholarship and also you apply for the GA and other staffs. Let's check if they have GA in the department. No, this is option, this is option. And we can go to, you can email the coordinator that is for any further inquiry and you will be fine. Okay. So they are financial aid and cost of attendance and everything. You will see it here. And also information systems. Let's check if they require GRE. No GRE required. Um, yeah. So this is a very good program for IT related people and yeah the program that you offer and you know yeah so let's check this one to sociology yeah no gre required a writing sample i've already explained a writing sample in my previous videos so you can check it out and additional information that you will need then also um that is for communication storytelling studies yeah let, so that is that i mean let's check if they require gre for this program yeah they require gre yeah applicant wishing to request for a waiver must contact the ga so you can request for a waiver a writing sample and you know just as they're written here so just take your time and go through it i'm just here to just give you a fair idea of i mean whatever you are going to do yeah so this is the cost of studying in this i mean school i'm trying to let me finish with the programs yeah so that is that clinical nutrition and also if you're applying you know the stem based programs this program for instance when you finish you will have i mean uh, three years i mean working permit as opposed to someone doing, I mean, a non stem based program. So, um, 3.0, um, no GRE required, MSc nutrition, funding is, I mean, I'm sure funding is guaranteed. And also, um, yeah, let me check um, uh, public administration. And also, uh, let me go to the STEM. Science, the sciences people are saying that I don't look at the sciences. So, let me go to what program. Uh, this is a very good program, uh, special education. A very good program in this country information systems and user experience computer science let me check p science first so p science yeah um that is it so no gre required you can check it yeah three recommendation letters and stuff and you should be fine so that is for p science and also um uh, yeah this is for stem i mean special education yeah gre maybe if you have a valid teaching license is provided and for internet if I, an official letter of professional change is provided from an institution of record. Yeah. So if you have um, an official letter of professional exp teaching experience, they will the GRE for you for the SPED program. And that's a good program too. And the MPA program is quite competitive because that's why they put the GRE, they just kind of decrease the applicant. So that is that. I think I'll check the mathematics program, MA, I mean, Master of Science in Mathematics. Yeah, where is it? <laughs> Yeah, so you can check the math out and let's check some doctoral programs. These are the doctoral programs available. You can check them. They have GAs available. So um, that is basically that. Um, ET, ETSU. Yeah. Let me go back to the main website and uh, I want to check something for you. Admissions, um, graduate. Yeah. So, um, future students, um, graduate programs, 
let's go to master's degrees again yeah this is what i was looking for so that it will make it more simple let's say geosciences yeah let me go to the program website and check something for you so that is if you want to do a, a master's in geosciences that is assistantship is a guarantee this program has preferred deadline for g by general first you apply for condition of departmental financial support such as gs and teaching school i mean position so this school trust me if you have good credentials you should add it to your list and put in a solid applications and you will be fine no gre required uh, the other the reason why i came back to this is because the other place that i went to is the catalog and the catalog is kind of clumsy so always use this approach that i just demonstrated let's say curriculum and instruction program website uh let me check what again test course none no test course required for this program yeah um yes personal statement and yeah you'll be fine yeah so this is it so let's check this program but mental website and what do you, i mean curriculum instructional development graduate programs med i mean m8 <laughs> yeah this program is for people who are already licensed to teach okay so if you're not licensed and you are not qualified for this program so check it out and you'll be fine let me check another program um yeah so mathematical sciences i have a friend there he's doing he was he had a ga a friend who is a ga there so um yes so this is the this is the uh, assistantships uh, information application process uh do i have to get i mean gre yes they take the gre uh, yeah but they don't require uh using the subject gre so that is for those who want to do the math in this department and the stipend is here a stipend of eight thousand to nine thousand eight hundred per academic year for 12 months yeah which they pay for if it is 12 months they pay 11 bucks and yeah so that is that so guys check this out and let me see if we can review some um doctoral programs there then i'll go back to etsu admissions undergraduate i said undergraduate is free so undergrads um this is where you will go and you will check their programs okay so these are the they are, i mean just the basics so you want to apply today you go to there you, um, you send it to the online application you create an account and you will be fine then majors here bachelors you'll find whatever you need the bachelor's program that you want to apply that is there and you will be fine so these are for the tutorial programs early childhood is there education leadership is there and you'll be fine so in a nutshell just as i said um to go back to the cost for graduate and international um they have tuition and um, scholarships i mean gs tuition scholarships they have scholarships and also the fafsa is for those who are already in this country fyi then employment tuition assistant that is um working on campus and also just like the gs the international merit scholarship is available for you so guys um that is etsu then undergrad there again you can apply for free so that is that so tada energy energy thank you for making time for me i have some good news coming for you this month i mean september stay tuned follow me on all my social media handles if you want to reach out to me check my, my description box and you'll be able to follow me so 